So we may possibly see the fall of a very major nation in the southwestern region of this map. And Canada, in turn, might get a whole lot even, even more powerful. I was going to say they might get powerful, but they might get even more powerful. So yes, the second major coalition has formed up against Vietnam, and uh, this, this could have a major impact on the war. Just incredible impact. I, I'm afraid to see what's going to happen. Uh, by the way, I don't know what the heck is going on here, but for some reason, Philippines don't have cities. I mean, they actually they don't have the graphics for some reason on some of their cities. Uh, weird, I know. Let's just... Uh Let's just ignore it. It's, I'm sure everything's going to be fine, except for this one, of course. But uh, I think all the other ones, I don't know why. Why is that? I don't know. Well, anyways, this, the civ I want to focus on today is uh, is Finland. Because Finland is, they have the second biggest military in the world behind Canada. And they've always had a really big military. And that's because they've avoided war. They were very, very smart about it. They've avoided war. So their unique ability is uh, unimproved worked Marsh tiles provide plus one faith as well as forest tiles provide plus culture per turn. All melee guns and armored unit gangs, uh, units gang 15% combat strength when fighting within the Empire's borders. So uh, Finland has an interesting unique ability, very defensive unique ability. They're very smart of them to have something like this, but I don't know exactly if it's going to help them out that much in this campaign. I mean, yeah, extra culture is always nice. Uh, you know, they have their, they have themselves a religion. Uh, they have a holy city. They've, they founded the, the holy city of Confucianism. But besides that, it doesn't help out super, you know, a whole lot. They they do have their sky infantry, their ski infantry coming up soon. Uh, machine gun replacements that specialize in operating in cold terrains. Uh, with And they also have a camouflage suit. And then finally, they have a unique building, which is an ancient era shrine replacement that adds a little extra culture and happiness bonus phase from lake tiles so not too much but it is just interesting to see because i'm wondering if finland's actually going to make it over towards vietnam's territory uh that will be a big big factor now i don't think they're going to be able to bring over that many units but it could be something and it could weaken canada and and however many units canada may grab here uh, again i i know i ended the last video talking about you know the possibility that vietnam could hold them off it is possible i know that's crazy but I'm just throwing that out there that it, it's it's possible for us, guys. It's possible for the people that are rooting for Vietnam. And I know there's a lot of you guys. I wouldn't completely lose hope just yet. Uh, it, it, Hanoi is a really good defensive city. You might lose other cities. I will say you probably will you lose... Well, maybe, maybe not even your coastal cities because you don't. They don't have that. The Canadians don't have that many frigates in this region, so I don't know. Bulgaria and the Philippines have once again signed that declaration of friendship, uh, or I don't know if it's once again, but they they. Uh, I know that they weren't friends with Vietnam. They weren't friendly towards Vietnam. Iceland has publicly denounced Canada. Uh, whoa, interesting. But that's because there's a coalition still against uh, the Anuch tribe as well as the... Um I guess, as well as Iceland. Australia and Afghanistan signed a research agreement, and Champa and the Finland and Finland have signed a declaration of friendship. So we'll have to watch out. I mean, Afghanistan is also attacking from the north, finally. Another coalition. We might as well just throw the entire world in on it. Uh, I'm... I'm it's going to be interesting to see exactly who takes a lot of Vietnam territories, if they do. If if some of these cities, which I still think Hanoi could stand, I think that some of the cities like down south could be taken. They're more than likely going to be taken. I mean, you know, who knows? Even the Sioux could get on this. Honestly, the Sioux could possibly make a comeback here and grabbing back their formerly owned city. They owned this city like a long time ago, but they could grab it back maybe, potentially. Hungary and Afghanistan have signed a research agreement. It seems like Afghanistan's doing a lot of research agreements. I know that they were pretty good in science compared to their size. They were surprisingly very well. I guess they're just very friendly towards most of the world, and that's what they've been doing. They've been playing quiet and getting a bunch of research agreements up. Canada and the Goths have, are now friends, as well as Austria, or Australia and Canada, also friends. New research agreement. Finland and the Goths. So it does look like, well, I mean, Vietnam still has units to the south, but now you have the Philippines attacking. They, they are just go ahead and just, they, did you see that suicide uh, hit that unit just took? I mean, he's really trying to bring it down. It, you know, who knows? This might not actually fall to Canada. It could fall to the Philippines if they get lucky enough. They do have their lucky, their unique unit. I'm sorry, their lucky unit. Sometimes the crack's just too much today. Uh, they I, they have their unit, but there are forest tiles just up north of Hanoi, so it's going to be difficult, as well as you have more Canadian melee troops around them than anything else. Although, you know, there are Vietnamese troops down south who could probably do some major damage to some of these uh, that are lining Hanoi up from the south. And there you go, just like what I was saying right there. That's a perfect example. It's going to be close. They also just completed the Louvre. Uh, upcoming session, so we have a World's Fair as well as the Embargo of City-States. Now, that's a big one. That's a big one. Now, who is trying to enact that? I swear, if it, if that is... 
You know, I really thought the smarter AI was making a big difference. Uh, I don't know if it is. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, kind of. But still, Canada should be the last civ that should be trying to embargo the city-states. Anyways, uh, I, I think this smarter AI comes from mainly war uh, sort of thing. I mean, yeah, Canada still controls three out of four of the city states in this world. I don't know. Brandenburg Gate also been built by the Philippines as well. Uh, what is my spy? It was even covered. Yes, yeah, so pretty much uh, you're, you're plying against people. No, no big deal. I think the smarter AI really comes into use when it comes to these wars. And geez, this is a big one. This is an absolute huge one. But dang, they are holding on. I got to give it to them. They need to hold on for long enough, though. They still have several units. They do still have units. Another ideology has been adopted. We should probably double check on that. Afghanistan has chosen to adopt freedom, surprisingly enough. Now, Afghanistan is could definitely take up the helm as, you know, if Vietnamese, if the Vietnamese empire falls, I could definitely see Afghanistan taking that spot over for them and leading the freedom nations to, um, you know, to have like a good, good place in this world. Afghanistan is, is been really like, not really on a lot of the, a lot of, you know, my rate, my radar, as well as your guys's radar, not too many people have been talking about Afghanistan, but they're good. They really are, and maybe maybe they could even take the city. They, it looks like they will, because Canada is helping them out. It's possible that Afghanistan takes this Vietnamese coastal city, and uh, this would be a big deal because it really would show the power. Maybe you know, kind of the 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 exchange of the torch, I guess you could say, of maybe Afghanistan taking up the helm as being the leader in the freedom ideology. It might ha it might not happen, but it might. Who knows? I mean, it looks like the Canadians have either um, retreated their fleets. Yeah, it looks like they've kind of retreated, but as well as, I mean, let's give some credit to Vietnam. They've also destroyed several ships that Canada has had uh, just along this Vietnamese coast. How's Hanoi doing? Hanoi's staying at just above yellow here, almost just almost at green still. It really is. They're very, very close to green. Philippines, still wonder whoring, out, just crazy. Canada and the Papal State signed a recent agreement, and Australia and the Papal State have signed a declaration of friendship. Uh, there is this weird Canada... Um, uh, oh, actually, that's I, that, I thought that was a settler. I've been thinking that was a settler for a while now. That is their unique unit. Whoopsie daisy. I was wondering why they had so many settlers. What was I thinking? I don't know. Is there also a river up north here of Hanoi? No, I don't think so. Well, yeah, there has to be, I think. Right? No, no, there's no river. So these guys are not getting uh, a penalty for attacking across the river. Uh, both of these, this Filipino uh, Gatling gun as well as the Great War Infantry. And uh, Afghanistan have have given peace. I believe that's Afghanistan. Have given peace to, yes, yes, to the Inuit tribe. They might be okay as long as Canada is distracted and they're building up more and more units. So they're doing good. They might, they'll probably survive this. I think they will, which will be awesome. Got to watch the Afghanistanis uh, and, and as they kind of the Afghan army approach this coastal city. Again, the Canadians haven't backed off with their fleets. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Something. There it is right there. The Champa have taken over Iceland. Iceland is done. They're gone. Wow, that's a big win for Champa. For the Champa Kingdom, dang, that's a really, really significant exchange. Uh, again, another coastal city which only benefits their unique ability and, you know, their their cargo ships. Uh, everything that this Civ is geared towards, it's geared towards these coastal games. And, and honestly, <laughs> they're having the best coastal game of any nation in the world right now. So it is pretty impressive to see them grab that, especially away from somebody else. Uh, I know that Canada was going after it. I know that... Um, I know Belgium was going after it. Surprised that Prussia didn't try anything. But to, to go to the Champa Empire was, was you know, a big change for them. Very smart. I knew that was probably the city that fell. Um, okay, let's see how this goes. Again, still Vietnamese troops. Uh, but, oh, that might be among, this might be the final turn, or the next turn might be the final turn that we see uh, Vietnam still continuing to defend themselves. You know, it's been several turns. I mean, who knows? The AI sometimes just gives peace after a certain amount of time. I don't know if it's been that time, but... Who knows? I mean, Hanoi has 109 defense. This is probably one of the best defensive games I've ever seen from an AI. Uh, again, we still have, they still have more troops. And that right now, they're letting Hanoi go. They are letting Hanoi go and they go. And it seems like this city is a little bit more, a little bit more important only because it does have 21 citizens. Obviously, I'm sure Hanoi has a lot of, a lot of, uh, spy i'm sorry a lot of wonders within this location let's actually check in on the city let's view it and let's check if it has any wonders how many wonders does it have great uh work buildings they have a few of those great work buildings i never yeah so it does have a few wonders the uh great temple only going to provide a little bit of extra faith no big deal there national college nothing um 
Notre Dame was is a big one. That that is a huge one. That's a lot of happiness and a little bit of faith as well. And that's about it. Okay, so it's, it doesn't have a lot of wonders, but it is still something. And it has a lot of science, too, generating out of the city. So it would be a significant exchange, especially if it went into the Filipinos' hands, because they already have a lot of science. So it would be pretty good for them uh, if they were to pick this up. So World's Fair would definitely get enacted. I'm not sure if the embargo of city-states will. Who knows exactly? Uh, just a couple research agreements. Pretty much, yeah. I'm wondering if their units are actually going to go up north and try to protect Hanoi. This is the time for them to do it, though, because right now the Canadian AI and the Filipino AI go first, then it's Vietnam. So it is possible for them to approach them um, next, and it looks like they're not. They're going to just kind of stay down south in their second biggest city, actually their first biggest city in the world, and uh, they're going to try to hold off from there. I don't think they're going to get peace. I thought it could be possible. I mean, I really had high hopes. Afghanistan's still pushing hard, but, you know, they don't have the uh, the fleets off the coast here that's helping the Afghan army anymore. So anyways, what do we have? World's Fair has been passed. That's what we figured. And the embargo against city-state was passed. So I wonder what that exactly means. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Um, it just seems like the AI, someone like Canada, unless they have a lot of money, maybe Canada has a lot of money. Is that the thing? They're making okay money. I don't think it's the best in the world. Let's go ahead and go to GNP real quick just to check because what my theory is, and I'm sure the AI isn't thinking this indefinitely, but you never know. It is smarter AI mod. Um, they are making the second most. So maybe the theory behind that is Canada just continues to want to just, you know, purely go off of just giving money to the city states. They wanted to not, they wanted to embargo the city states so that other nations wouldn't be able to get that, you know, that mission. That mission that allows, like, hey, you send a trade route to, you know, my my city, and I'll give you some extra influence with me. Maybe now that's that is like I'm sure the AI wasn't thinking that in depthly, but yeah, you never know. Uh, so it actually might end up helping. It might help out Canada. It might have been a smart choice. Belgium has adopted autocracy. Okay, so it's a pretty uh, divided world, I believe. I think that's uh, two for each ideology so far, and Hanoi will fall. Now, will it continue to fall? And who exactly will it fall to? It seems pretty obvious that it's going to fall to Canada. I don't think that the Philippines are going to be able to get anything in here. Um, it doesn't look like it. They have no melee units. So this will for sure fall to Canada. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a breakdown in the relationship put between the Philippines and Canada. Because we've seen that they've chosen different ideologies. And that's a big deal. Um, that is a pretty big deal. So... I don't know how the relationship is going to go. Also, the Philippines have 8 out of 15 influential. That's pretty big, too. That is a pretty big case to be made. we got to keep an eye on that. Wow. Okay, what does this say? Um, the Champa have replaced Canada as an ally of the Congo. Wow. Now, how many votes do, does Canada have? They only have 13 vo votes. Still nowhere close to getting that world leader proposal now let's go ahead and double check on before i even go i want to see exactly how close the philippines are from gaining that cultural victory pretty impressive if they do i mean they're continuing to pump out wonders it wouldn't surprise me they're seriously rising with everybody they're static oh that's fine um again you know like i said uh, in, in previous campaigns if the philippines get to 14 out of 15 influential then obviously i will uh I will let them win the game. They they won the game because you know you can't they can't become influential with me without having a, a city down. So I'll just pop a city down and and they'll win the game. So anyways, um, they're only rising slowly with Vietnam, but I'm thinking by taking away a few cities, this will this will pretty much change. I will say it's going to change. This will definitely be drastically different. Ooh, Canada though, that's the thing, and it's going to be well. How are they getting plus ninety six? I don't think this relationship is going to remain this good. As we continue and to progress through the series, I don't think that open borders agreement is going to stay there. I don't think the trade routes are going to stay there. Uh, I think we might see an embargo of one of these two civs at some point. And right now they are at a bonus because they're at a at war with a common foe. But Canada, it's it's right now it's Phil Philippines and the Canada and the Canadians. Uh, those are the two that are on the verge of victory. And Afghanistan is there. They are there. Why 136? Oh, shared same religion. Ooh. Again, I don't know if it's too late for these Eastern nations. They should have striked a long time ago. They really needed to kind of absorb each other, and uh, but that just hasn't happened. Maybe if they just, if someone goes just all out, goes crazy right now, maybe like Hungary goes crazy and just takes over a bunch of cities, then it's possible. I mean, we saw how quickly Vietnam picked up those cities, and there's wow, Hanoi is still under their control, but next turn, um, Hanoi will. Probably be probably be a part of the Canadian Empire, which is honestly at this point really important that Canada grabs because if the Philippines grabbed it, I think it, 
I don't know how much great work was in it. I don't know how many great works there were. I know that there were a few. I know there was a little bit there. So it probably helps out Canada a little bit more that they grabbed Hanoi than uh, the Philippines did. Yeah, it's probably it's probably overall a good thing. Now, who's going to take over the rest? I think that the Vietnamese were smart in kind of stationing a lot of their troops to protect this, uh, probably the biggest city in their empire. Yes, it is. But we'll see if they're going to be able to hold off. I think that the AI is pretty, uh, pretty aggressive at this stage in the game, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just take over everything. So yeah, there goes their capital. And yes, we have to reassign my spy. I only have one right now. Now, who would be a good person to spy on? Let's go and check on the Champa. They're doing pretty dang good. Is this the, I hope that this is their capital. Is this their capital? Yes, it is. Okay, I assumed because it was the biggest. Bulgaria and Belgium have signed a research agreement. Or no, a declaration of friendship, I think that was. Now, all the Philippines have to do is wait for that open borders agreement to end. And when that happens, well, then there's a lot of things that uh, is going to go down. So, hmm. I'm surprised that the relationship has stayed together. That relationship between the Philippines and Canada have stayed together for this long. I'm very, very shocked at that. I figured, it, if anything, it would have kind of broken down by now. Prussia has publicly denounced the Vietnamese, uh, Australia, and Canada. Research agreement, Canada and the Champa. Research agreement, as well as the Philippines and Afghanistan. Declaration of friendship. That's weird, because the, the, all three of these nations are different ideologies, but they're still really friendly towards each other. Very, very odd. Who's this? Is this the Pope? Pope finally... I mean, he could have easily snuck in there and grabbed Sonoy. It. I mean, in another, you know... A little bit lucky of a situation, the Pope would have grabbed Hanoi. Just with the pikemen, because Hanoi was at, like, zero health for a little bit. It was... Yeah, wow, that would have been pretty crazy. Probably not... It probably wouldn't have lasted, but it would have been still very insane. Okay. A couple of research agreements. Public denouncement, finally. So, finally we're seeing some denouncements, but it might be just from Vietnam, so that doesn't really matter. The world's been really, really happy uh, with each other. The Inuits have just, oh, that was, they're not, oh, but that's the Inuits, like, they, the Inuit, I'm sorry, uh, the Inuit, like, you know, they don't really, most of the world doesn't like them, so obviously they don't like most of the world. Yeah, so it makes sense, I guess. Those announcements aren't that big of a deal. Again, Afghanistan could have gained a whole lot of strength if they grabbed one of these cities, but I think that's, yeah, it's not going to happen. They don't have a focused enough empire to, I think, grab a coastal city from Vietnam. They might be able to be, they might get lucky if they keep this great war infantry here for a while. They wait for the Philippines and the Canadians to get their armies down here. Then they sneak in. Then it's certainly possible. But I'm not sure if they're really going for that strategy right now. Oh, man. There, go, there it goes. Yeah, well, they do have two cannon units, so that is positive. You know, here's the thing you have to think about is that both Canada and the Philippines are losing a lot of troops. Now, the Philippines is a little bit different in a situation. That's, they're pretty safe, but Canada's not because they do border a lot of the eastern nations like the Pope and like Hungary. So you have to kind of worry these, about these things if you're rooting for Canada. Uh, Manila, wow, 88 tourism. That's crazy. Afghanistan and their capital uh, at 20 tourism. Rome at 20 tourism. I'm so surprised that, that the Pope isn't doing better in, in, the possible, in the possibility of a cultural victory. I really thought that he would. I definitely thought that he would. Uh, yes, I know I can't steal any technologies. So it looks like the uh, the Cham army is uh, escorting somebody for a naval attack, a naval invasion. Now, who could this possibly be after? I don't see anybody weak enough. It could be for Afghanistan. They're pretty weak. Um, I don't think that they would... Ah, this just seems like a lost cause. Like, why would you want this city? You're not the, the Inuit Empire, so you're not going to be able to really get the benefits from going after the snow. That's the thing. That's the, you know, the epic thing about the Civ is that, you know, why would anyone want these cities? It only works for their unique ability, which is crazy. World's Fair update, 34%. I cannot wait to see who wins that and what kind of bonuses they get. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see who drops this one. It might be Canada. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.
So I think it's very clear that the Canadians are going to get a lot of the Vietnamese cities. And I'm waiting for that breakdown between the Canadian and Filipino alliance because right now they, they both are... They're both are the they really are the only two nations that could possibly win this game. As of now, I mean, we still have a lot to I think we still have a lot left to go, but but who knows. And over the course of the last few turns, the Philippines are now influential with 9 out of the 15 nations that are left in this world. Uh, again, I don't think they're ever going to catch the Canadians. I don't think so, especially because as they pick up more cities, their culture per turn is only going to grow, and it's going to get harder and harder. So it might be a stalemate. It's going to be really interesting to see exactly uh, how this plays out. Now Canada's a little bit higher. It's going to take them 103 turns for influence right now, and obviously there's going to be technologies at the end of the game that's going to improve this time, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And the diplomatic victory for Canada, in turn, is still up in the air. Up in the air. So... It, 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 there's still an opportunity here. Definitely there's an opportunity for maybe, I know that maybe it being, this is like wishful thinking, I guess you could say, but there's really still an opportunity for the Eastern nations to get back into this. I think the Eastern nations could possibly get back into this, but they've got to take some people over. Someone's got to just start rolling over all these cities uh, or else it's going to be too late for them. So really briefly, let's go ahead and check the info addicts real quick. Uh, it's been a while since we checked on this. Population, again, almost double the population the Philippines uh, have uh, under their empire. Crop yields, Philippines and Canada, that's pretty much one, two. And then it's actually three as well. Manufactured goods, Vietnam is, is three around there. Uh, but I'm sure we're going to see Vietnam drop lower and lower. Hungary is third in GNP, but again, Philippines and Canada. Military manpower is still Canada. It's still under Canada's control. Hungary is now number two, though, which is interesting. They're not actually too far behind the Canadian army. And then, of course, you have the, Phil the, the, the Finland, uh, the Finnish Empire. So since these two nations border each other, I'm not sure if they're gearing up for war or if they're going after some weaker nations, but this is their time to strike. These are both eastern nations. Philippines have dropped significantly, I think. Uh, 